Hi, welcome to this edition of 10 in 10. This is where we look at 10 education technology topics and we try to squeeze them into 10 minutes so that you don't get bored. So we're going to look today at 10 science sites. These are all websites that uh, any teacher or student can go to get more information about science. So we think that these sites, probably some of our veteran teachers have probably already gone to it, they've already seen them, but you might stick around and see there might be one in there that uh, might pique your interest. So let's go ahead and go to that first site, and this is the National Science Digital Library. This is something that's a partnership with the National Science Foundation, and it's got some really great resources that students can use. If you notice right there on the lower right-hand side, it's got K-12 education standards for the whole country that's in there. And so one of the things that I really, really like about this site is that they have something called science literacy maps. And those science literacy maps, you can click on those and it shows how all science topics are related to each other. So this shows students the relationship between all these different science things that we teach them. Sometimes students think that we're teaching these topics in isolation, but we're really not. And those science literacy maps really bring that to life for them. And they're interactive, the students can click and find out more about them. So the National Science Digital Library is located at this website, nsdl.org. Really easy to go, nationalsciencedigitallibrary.org. Great site to go to if you're, uh, if you're surfing the web or have your students go to it and have them explore it. Let's look at that next one. Next one up is one of my favorite sites of all time, iTunes University. iTunes University has tons and tons and tons of science courses available. And these range all the way from kindergarten all the way up through university courses. So if you have students that are doing extended research, they're doing exciting research, then have them go to iTunes U. Now iTunes U is located on every single iTunes program. So if you've got iTunes on your Mac or your PC or on your iOS device, you've got iTunes U and you can download these. Here's the trick. All you got to do is tag or do a search for science and all those science courses will come up. So if you've got iTunes on your computer, you've got access to iTunes U. And what's neat about this, everything is free and it's from the greatest universities all over the world. MIT, Yale, Harvard, even New Mexico State University has iTunes U science topics. So let's go on to the next one is ScienceNet Links. ScienceNet Links is from the American Association for the Advancement of Science. This is another great aggregate site where they have lots and lots of really interesting topics that uh, teachers can use. What's neat about ScienceNet Links is that there's lessons that are put in there so teachers can actually download the lessons. Uh, there's actually lots of interactives that are on this site and what's really neat about this one of the things that i really like about science net links is that they keep it up to date one of the things that i just can't stand about websites are ones that look like they were made like 50 years ago and nobody updated them science net links is updated on a daily basis it's an awesome awesome site with lots of great information so the website for science net links is really easy sciencenetlinks.com and you just go there and again it's uh, put on by the uh, American Association for the Advancement of Science the largest the largest science organization in the world okay the next one is a really great site this is something that you probably are not familiar with. Remember when I said there's probably some programs or some websites that you're not familiar with? Annenberg Learning is one of those websites. Annenberg Learner is a site that's got lots and lots and lots of video. It's even got professional development. So they even have professional development. If you're an elementary teacher and you're not quite sure how to address those science standards, you're not sure how to teach science in the class, you can actually go up to their professional learning and watch a, an entire course and get credit for those courses. So what's neat about the Annenberg Learning is that they not only have videos for students, but they also have professional development videos for our teachers. So if you're interested in expanding your skills as a teacher, Annenberg Learning is a great place to go. And the way to get there is just go to learner.org. That's a great site to go to. Okay, so let's go to our next site. One of my favorite sites of all time is the Astronomy Picture of the Day. It's the Astronomy Picture of the Day is a website that's got a single picture every single day. They have some picture from NASA or from some, um, some satellite or some telescope from around the world. They put it up and what's neat about it is that they have an explanation underneath it. It's not just a picture. It's a picture with an explanation. So it's a great way to get kids interested in astronomy. You can just put that up 
on while you're taking roll. You can just have every day. You can have that single astronomy picture of the day, and it changes. Like it says, since it's astronomy picture of the day, changes every single day. And the website for astronomy picture of the day is on the NASA website, apod.nasa.gov. Pretty easy to remember. All right, ha, this is one of my favorite sites here, Bio Interactive. This is probably a site that our high school students would go to in high school biology. But this is put on by the Howard Hughes Medical uh, Institute. And what they've done here is they've created a whole bunch of interactives that students can watch and they can interact with online that have to do with science and biology. These are really, really well done. So if you're looking for some really good uh, interactives all the way from uh, how the cell uh, cells reproduce meiosis and mitosis to how DNA reproduces to all these things really really great some of them are really complicated as well some of them go into really good detail probably our senior level chemistry stuff would would work on there so bio interactive it's from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute and that's the uh, that's the website hhmi.org bio interactive all right our next website is Understanding Science. This is a great website from a university in California. Uh, it's UC Berkeley, I believe. And this is really good because it's just on how science works. It's a scientific method, how science works. This is uh, something that we really need to help people understand how science works. So a lot of times people don't understand how science works. Our students don't understand. Even our teachers sometimes don't understand science theory, what a theory means in science. And so understanding science, how science really works, lots of interactives, lots of videos. This is a great website to go to. And the way to get there is Understanding Science, undsci.berkeley.edu. So it's from uh, U University of California, Berkeley. Okay, this is a great website. Periodic videos. Periodic videos is one of the coolest websites. Every single element, uh, this is done from the University of Nottingham. Every single element, you click on the element, you'll find a video that goes with that element that explains what that element is, what it's used for, how it's, you know, all the information about it. And some of the videos are funny, some of them are very serious, some of them are very, but every single one of them is very informative. So that's a great way to get our kids interested in, in the periodic table and the different elements that are on there. The periodic table of videos is, is really good. And the way to get there is another pretty easy uh, name, periodicvideos.com. Okay, our next, uh, this is a really cool site. It's called Freeze Array. Freeze Array. I, I think that's how they say it. But what Freeze Array is, this is a collection of really neat interactives that you can use on your whiteboard, your interactive whiteboard. So say, for instance, uh, uh, there was one up there. You can see dispersion. You can click on that, put it up on your whiteboard, and you can actually show how light disperses through a prism using different colored lenses. And you just move the lens with your mouse or with your finger or however you would move it on, a, on an interactive whiteboard. And there's a whole bunch of these. These are really, really good for interactive whiteboards. You have to have flash on your device to use these. So you probably have to use these off of your laptop. But these are really great for showing kids uh, some concepts in science, especially physics. And uh, so freeze ray. Freeze Ray, and that's the it's freezeray.com is the the way to get there. A really neat site. Now that's that's one of those that hasn't been updated in a while, but the content is still good. It's still up. It's still up there. This is another website. You know, some people think that the only really good uh, websites that have video are YouTube or Discovery Education, and that's not true. There's tons and tons of websites out there that have lots of really good videos on them. This one is Science 360. Tons and tons of webs, uh, videos to go explore. You can search by your topic. These are great uh, icebreakers for the class. You can show them the video before you start the topic. You can show them the video after the topic and uh, see if what you discussed in class matches the video. Really good. Uh, Science 360 videos, and the website for that is science360.gov. It's from the United States government. Puts that up. All right. That's the 10 websites we got through. We got 30 seconds. National Science Digital Library, iTunes U, Science Net Links, Annenberg Learner, Astronomy Picture of the Day, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute for Biological Interactives, Understanding Science, the Periodic Table of Videos, Science 360 Science Videos, and Freeze Ray. We'll see you next time on 10 at 10.